His Excellency Mr. Sergei Manasarian. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for your interest to our event. This is very important for us. We have just enjoyed a wonderful concert. So let's start with this topic. Do you think music can be a bond to enhance the friendship of the people between the two countries? Thank you very much for your point of view. Personally, I enjoy it. Uh, we introduce Armenian music as well as the Chinese music. And we use, uh, b besides the classic violin and cello, we use the traditional Chinese instrument. This is a very, very, it was very interesting ex experiment by, by, by means. And this is a bright introduction that the culture have not uh, border. Both nations are a holder of ancient civilization. Our history and uh, our life, this is a bright example of uh, relation and uh, development through culture. You have been the Armenian ambassador to China for seven years yes. and you have been to many places in China. What impressed you the most? It's, um, you are not the first uh, who ask me about that. It's very difficult to answer because the China is very big. Mountains or hills, uh, seaside or rivers. Uh, all regions have its beauty and all regions are, have its unique. And not only in landscape, in culture, in traditional, even in national dresses. For example, the Kunming perfect landscape or uh, Xinjiang. Uh, dessert. Both are beautiful. <laughs> in recent years, China has achieved rapid development in economy, technology and other fields. How do you understand the Chinese style modernization? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very interesting question. Modernization of society. You focused uh, your attention not only to the economical or social side of this uh, problem, uh, the spiritual side is very important because both sides, social, economical and spiritual, must be correspondable to each other. And you, Chinese, fully understand it. That is why you have real achievements. This is a main principle of the Chinese style of modernization. China and Armenia has a long history of friendship. The exchanges between the two countries can be traced back to the ancient Silk Road more than 2,000 years ago. And now, Armenia is also an active supporter of the Belt and Road Initiative. How do you evaluate the BRI and what has it had in Armenia? The Armenia was one of the first countries from our region who welcomed the President Xi uh, initiative. It was uh, 10 years ago. <laughs> of course. And since this period, we are working very active with our Chinese partner. Uh, we have a lot of achievements uh, in different fields because uh, according to our position, uh, the Belt Road Initiative is not only business initiative. This is a multi-vectoral program, unique program. We have a lot of achievements in field of culture, uh, cooperation in uh, education, in science, uh, in the social programs also. We have uh, a, serious, a serious achievement in economic, uh, economical fields during the last few years, even during the pande pandemic. And we are ready to go forward in a different fields, including economical ties. So, uh, I think everything in the future. We are working now for preparation our bright future in the, under the framework of this program. Since you just mentioned the future, mm -hmm. this year marks the 31st anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relationship mm -hmm. between China and Armenia. The two countries have already achieved very fruitful results in cooperation. In what areas do you hope to further strengthen cooperation in the future? My answer is, we, for us, for us, it's very important to focus our attention to the economical relation. But it's it's impossible without culture, education, science, etc. <laughs> I agree with you. Mm -hmm. So the last question, I know that you are a lover of traditional Chinese culture. Which art form do you like the best? I love Chinese culture. I 
try to read uh, Chinese literature, of course translation. Unfortunately, I don't speak Chinese. Uh, I like uh, calligraphy. The rules of Chinese calligraphy come to us through the philosophy. For me, it's very interesting Confucianism and Taoism. And this is a not the real, uh, this is a, a mix between philosophy and uh, uh, spiritual, uh, religious feelings. This is a very unique also. So, uh, I like it. I like it and uh, time by time I try to um, print some call calligraphy by myself. Um, it's very difficult to say that is, I am successful, but I, will, I, I am trying to do it. Seven years is too much for one country. I think in some future uh, I will change my position, but believe me that uh, the China have a part in my heart forever.